Welcome to the Big Bad Shark Show. We are delighted to have our lovely guest, Avian. Avian, welcome to the show. Oh, isn't he just cute? He's a little kitty. So Avian is here to share with us an upcoming film from the Big Bad Shark Show Productions. It's a current untitled horror short film, and you are going to be making a guest appearance in one of the scenes as Kitty. Is that correct? Wonderful. I'm so excited and we're looking forward to that scene. It's going to be fantastic, I can tell. So, tell us, Avian, how many lives are you up to now? Like, how many have you lost? Are you seven, eight, one? What is it? Can you tell us? One, two, three. Three, folks. We're up to three lives. So that means he's got how many more to go? Seven? No, six. So Big Bag Shark's mask is not her strong suit. All right. So anyway, as we've learned, and in its exclusive, completely brand new, Avian, tell us, what's it like for you giving up meat and rats and mice specifically? Tell us. Has it been hard? Difficult? Oh, yeah. Yes. You you still have that instinct. And it's still driving you. In fact, wasn't it difficult for you today, even, when we found you behind the couch earlier, attacking a mouse? <laughs> Now, I will admit, Avian was very good and did not kill it and leave it for the big bad shark. Thank you. You did great. Give me a little high five with your paw. Oh, go down with your bad self. So, we're very pleased that you didn't kill it. However, it must be difficult to fight that inner killer rage every day. How hard is it? Tell us. Big. Oh, wow. That's incredible. So, now, in this movie, you do have a couple lines. Is it asking too much? Can we have one of those lines shared with us today? Come on, Avian. Just give us one. One. Quick. Oh, folks, you heard it here today. Nobody can disclose this, okay? We don't need the producers and the directors coming after us for any kind of lawsuits here. All right. Thank you again, Avian, for, for sharing with us and being so heroic with us today. We are so grateful that you made this wonderful appearance. Thank you so much. Mwah. Such a cute little kitty. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. And remember, swim safe, everyone. Swim safe. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Avian. Listen, did you I try? had to axe my backside up. Oh. Hey. Um. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Quiet on the set. Hey. Hey. Did you leave that little surprise behind the couch? Did you? Did you leave it behind the couch? I'm not done with you. I was Get back on the most. couch. Get back on the couch. Get over here. Did you not use the guest litter box that we have at the studio? Yeah, I, I'm not sure where he is. Uh, he he was in here. Okay, I will go look. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't see where he's at. This is odd. We don't usually have guests disappear. I, I'm not quite sure what has happened. What the? What the? What are you doing? Okay, take 500. Oh, my God. Did you get into the champagne? Oh, you can't be drunk before we have the show. We need some coffee. Somebody sober this guy up. Right on the set. What kitty drinks? Is that how you deal with not eating mice? Is that your coping strategy? Mm-hmm. Is that how you do it? You know, 
Sometimes life can be really hard and challenging here at the Big Bad Shark Show. And we have guests that are kind of, you know, unruly and like, you know, leave poo-poos behind a couch or try and eat other guests. And uh, I don't know how you do it, man. Hair of the dog. Okay. Wake up in the morning. Is that your mid-morning coffee? Your AM snack? Is that your lunchtime meal? Come on, man. You can do better than this. The Big Bad Shark Productions budget <laughs> cannot afford <laughs> any mishaps. So, no mice for you. All right. You got it? Or, you know, they like to strip their clothes off and and show too much or say too much. Twerking. All right. Mm-hmm. That looks lovely. Okay. And yep. we're going to go ahead and click Shrek, that. Start dancing. All right. There we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. I can't believe this. We can't have guests like this that just poop on the on the floor behind the couch without a litter box. Oh, where's my glass? Ah, just give me the bottle. Okay, I'm disoriented. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh-huh. Did you try and kill that mouse? Did you? Mouse lives matter. Mouse lives matter. Avian. Ma I done the set. Rolling in three, two, one. You can do better. Chug, chug, chug. It's all right, kitty. It's all right. Just relax. Good job. Okay, that's good. Come on, where's my producers? We need to help this guy. Let's get him in transition. We can get you into therapy. What are you doing? Did you bring yeah. your friends? You're chasing me. What? What? What are you doing? I, I. We can't have this kind of noise going on. It's bad enough there's one dookie behind the couch. Please tell your friends to use the litter box. It's disgusting. Oh, so you're going to blame this one for the dead mouse? Is that is that what we're going to do? Is that how this is going down? You go from eating mice to just, just eating their eggs. How does that sound? <laughs> Come here, touch my feet. Touch your feet. Kitty at my foot. This is just... And I want to touch it. Oh, oh. Touch the kitty. Okay. What a... What <laughs> life choices have I made that I'm now in this situation? Oh. I think he's shamed himself to death. You were fantastic. Did you mute yourselves? Is that what you had to do? Well... Help. They've taken over. I've lost all control. I shouldn't have come. I shouldn't have come. Take 500. Hey, you know what? You would look so cute. I have some really, really cute outfits. Uh, apparently, when uh, we don't have any good directors and set um, staff, uh, the uh, guests just run around, run amok, all unruly-like, and, and apparently it's a party. I could dress you up. You could be a pirate. You could be, like, uh, you could be a ballerina. You could be, you could be anything you wanted. I think you'd love it. You would look so cute. My dog loves it. He really likes it. What? That you're what life choices? I, I'm standing as <laughs> to excuse the language, touching your avatar's feet. It just doesn't get more surreal than that, does it? All right. We don't need any lawsuits and we don't need to pay off any porn stars to cover up your issues with this film. OK, so you're telling me, Avian, that this kitty is actually the, the mouse murderer and the reason that we have kitty Corona. Aha. Come here. Come here, kitty. You love it. You love it. Come here. Oh, look at the kitty friends. Are you kitty slappy? You brought a curse down upon this studio. You killed the mouse. You left it on the couch. You left a doo-doo behind the couch. And now the whole place is cursed. Are we good now? All right. <laughs> It's a kitty slap box. Oh, yeah. We're taking wagers. Okay. You're taking the blame, man. You're taking the blame. Yep. He says, yes, you did it. What do you have to say for yourself? Just knocked out the other kitty. I saw it. It's on camera. I'm sending it to CNN. 
I think you'd like it too. I think you'd look adorable. Oh my goodness, yes you would. Come here, kitty. Come on, let me take you home. I'll dress you up. Avian, come here. Avian, come here. It's going straight to CNN. I'm going to blow the roof off of this. Big Bad Shark Productions investigative reporting. The true mouse murderer. You can also add your majesty shark to that if you'd like. Say your yes. royal highness, the shark. That's great. No? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's going in there too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not lagging. Mm-mm. See, the thing is, I do it so perfectly on the first take. I don't know if I'll be able to well, we'll do something recreate different. the magic. We'll just do something different. Have you been touching the catnip? Have you been? <laughs> Welcome to VR chat, everybody. <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to sleep outside. Quiet on the set. <laughs>